so it is time for another sketchbook update video. Uh, it's been one week since my last one, and like I said before, I am uploading every Wednesday at noon. So every Wednesday at noon, you guys can expect uh, a new video. And then I'll be uploading periodically as well. Like this Friday, I'll have another video up as well, which will be the art challenge video, which has tons of awesome artwork from you guys in it. Um, I was super happy with how that video turned out. And um, so yeah, that video will be up Friday. So definitely look for that one. But every Wednesday at noon, there'll be a, a new, new art video, most likely a new sketchbook video every Wednesday at noon. So let's just get started. This is uh, my first sketch. And with this sketch, I did something I normally don't do, or I don't do very often. And that's draw a kind of funny, um, kind of humanoid, like cartoon character, I guess you'd call this guy. I'm not really sure. But I started out with this really weird shape, this for his head. See how it's really, I mean, his cheek like sags down here and it doesn't, like if you were to just look at the shape, it doesn't make a lot of sense and it wouldn't look like a human's face at all. Like if you were to just look at the shape. But I looked at it and I'm like, well, and that's the thing is sometimes you can draw something and see something in it. And I actually thought about doing a video after I did this drawing because of this weird shape and having my daughter draw something and then turn that something into a, uh, a drawing of some type. So I look for that video maybe in the future. But anyway, uh, so I turned it into something which was this funny guy. He's got an A on his belt. I wanted him to have a lot of like funny attitude, kind of a used car salesman type look. I gave him these weird futuristic kind of headphone things. I don't, I mean, don't ask me what the background of this drawing is. But anyway, this guy's like some kind of demon. And I think I called this one, um, excuse me, sir, you're about to die. Cause this guy's about to like bite into him or something. But see, there's something a little, see how he's got these sharp little teeth? Like, I kind of added a little bit of a twist, I think, to this one where maybe this guy isn't quite what he appears to be. And this is some kind of ghost that's about to bite into something. And maybe it's not, uh, you know, this isn't like an unsuspecting man of some type. But anyway, the flowers down here kind of trying to warn him. So and that's that drawing. Uh, it's fun. It's different. And um, I like it when it's different. I like it when I don't expect it. So I like that one. So this is actually, I did six drawings this week. Normally there's only supposed to be five, Monday through Friday. But um, this drawing I did in the evening one night and I just started drawing and had some extra time. So I busted this one out. Uh, and so one thing I struggle with, and my wife and I always talk about it, is like making a woman look sexy. I always tend to make women look masculine and stuff like that, which, you know, this one, falls into that a little bit too. But the idea for the costume, I definitely pulled from The Fifth Element. Uh, so if you haven't seen that movie, she has this like white bandage outfit dress. And that's kind of where I got the idea. Uh, the short hair, uh, my wife didn't like that. But I first drew this face and my wife's like, the face doesn't look right, you should change it. Make her nose smaller and her lips bigger. So I did that and it helped a ton. Everybody kept saying she looks like, oh, I can't remember the actress. But anyway, that's just accidental. But so the drawing is supposed to be like, she's the pilot of this big robot walkie, like Gundam wing type cre uh, robot in the background. Um, so she's got like shoes that might hook into it. And uh, this pod thing probably lifts her up into the chest or into the back part of the head or something like that. That's kind of the idea I had for it. And this drawing back here is just, you know, background. I didn't do a whole lot of detail on it. Um, one thing I did do wrong on this, where, see how it's got these like hard lines right here? That really, if I had done the whole thing more and this just strokes like this, I feel like this background, even though it's not detailed or anything like that, would have been better because this kind of detail stuff draws your eye away from the sub main subject a little bit. It's nothing really that important, but um, overall I like the way this drawing turns out. Really nice smooth transitions and stuff like that. Uh, this area right here is kind of supposed to be like plasticky, see-through like shorts or something. Um, so, but yeah, I felt like she turned out kind of sexy, which is what I was going for. This is like a pin-up version of like a Gundam pilot or something, big robot pilot, or maybe even Pacific Rim. 
So when I started drawing this, I knew it was gonna be really popular. This is one of probably the most liked drawings on Instagram that I've ever done. Uh, it's Elsa, and this one's called Elsa Went All Carrie on Their Asses, which Carrie is the movie where she kills everybody at the prom or something. And so I have her using her kind of ice powers to skewer the villagers or the people that live in the city. So she has like ice spikes going through people, impaling people. This guy's got one going through his mouth and out of his head. And it's really like, this was a fun drawing. I was like giggling to myself the whole time I was drawing it. Um, Cause it looks like, like somebody pointed out and I thought of this too, this was the original concept, but she's like singing like a Disney character, but she's totally killing all these people. So uh, I really like this one. I feel like it's an entertaining drawing. And um, I would like my drawings to be more entertaining where I feel like a lot of art nowadays is decorative art where it looks nice on your wall, but you don't really give it a second thought. So drawing drawings that make you think or make you look at them and make you laugh or make you sad or something like that are drawings that I would like to do and drawings that I would like my artwork to kind of move in a direction of, so. But I like this one a lot, it's a fun drawing. I definitely will not be showing this to my daughter Elena. So I did the, the Elsa drawing and then I was like, oh it'd be fun to do another kind of Disney funny drawing and may take it a little dark place, so I did Wally. So this is kind of Wally and Wally was in love with Eve and she didn't like reciprocate the love so I thought I'd do a little bit of a twist here where Wally's bringing her the flower but Eve's got her mask off and underneath her mask she's much more complicated than Wally thought because that's the thing about beauty is you look at it and you fall in love with it but is it really love until you understand what's actually beneath the skin um, so this was kind of a play on that where you know it's easy to love something that's pretty until you get to know it, that's when you really decide whether or not you love it or not. So it's a little bit different than the Wally story, but I use those characters to kind of, uh, uh, my versions of those characters. Anyway, I mean, obviously Wally didn't fly and stuff like that, but you could see the look on his face. He's a little bit shocked. And she's very contemplative looking at her beauty with, you know, her mask off and stuff. But uh, this one's cool. I feel like you think about this one when you see it, if, you know, maybe I thought too much about this one, but it's all right. It's not a very effective drawing though. Compositionally, everything's just, I could do a better job on this one. So this one is called Space Cop with a Bad Haircut. And he's got like a, a bowl cut. He's, to me, he's like a robot. That's what I was kind of going for. No expression on his face and I have this kind of gesture like he's pointing like you're doing something wrong. Uh, but I got this funny little kind of bird on his finger. Maybe like he's arresting the bird or he's telling the bird not to do that. Uh, I gave him these weird like kind of George Jetson type hover feet things. So maybe he just floats along um, and he doesn't run or anything like that. Just, uh, but I like the way his um, jacket turned out. The design of him is kind of all kind of all goes together I feel like. Uh, give him these black fingernails um, to kind of show that he's kind of a, I mean, he's not your typical guy like cop, obviously the feet too, but um, but I like the design of this one, it's very clean. I did a white outline and I've done this before, but I decided to do it on this one. I do it whenever I kind of use the white colored pencil as like a drawing element rather than just shading uh, where I draw bubbles and stuff like that. Sometimes I, I don't know why, but Anyway, um, yeah, turned out pretty good. I gave him that haircut too to make him kind of a little bit more, have a little bit more character. And I feel like <laughs> common characters and a lot of stuff, they all look the same a lot of times with the same like guy haircut, the same haircut I pretty much have. Basically the norms of society that I definitely fall into in my personal appearance, but it's nice with drawing, you can kind of go outside those so this is the last drawing uh, of the week, and this is a follower sketch, which I I'm gonna try and do at least one follower sketch where I take a follower's picture and turn them into something. Um, her profile picture I just noticed in my comments, that's how I pick my follower sketches, is I'll just look at likes or comments, click the person, and see if they have any pictures I can draw. Her picture was actually the profile picture she had, that's why I noticed it. 
and I was just going through my likes. I saw the pose and I thought, hey, I could do something interesting with that because the lighting was good. That's the other thing, you guys, if, if you want me to do your follower sketches and you have, um, uh, I was thinking about doing, having a hashtag follower sketch. So if you have any particular photos that are good photos, because it's kind of hard searching through them, is to do a hashtag on Instagram, hashtag follower sketch. Um, and uh, then I can, you know, maybe find you that way. Or sketchy Trav follower sketch. Maybe that way it can be specific to me. So anyway, I really like this drawing. Uh, there's a lot of things I did well that I noticed from a few drawings I've worked on in the last week or so. I wanna try and do a little, make the drawing uh, better as far as where you should look. Like, I didn't do a whole lot of detail on arm and stuff like that. Um, and I like the way that looks. I like when there's elements of the drawing that are very detailed and then elements that kind of fade into the background. Uh, so I'm gonna try and focus on that a little bit more rather than making the whole thing um, detailed. But elements of this that I like, I like the helmet, it's big and round, she's got this visor that can kind of slide down in front of her eyes. Her pose is very interesting because it doesn't look like it goes with this kind of, she's just got this very innocent pose and she's got this giant arm cannon gun, this futuristic armor, which I like the design of. And she's got kind of a hard breastplate and then like some shoulder pads and this this kind of um, gears and uh, hydraulic system that runs her, her gun arm with maybe probably a battery pack in the back. I just felt like the design of this was really good. I like the overall drawing um, and I felt like it looked like her for sure. So, but I mean, with so much stuff going around, it's kind of hard to see the person in there, but I feel like it, the face looked like her, so. And she said she liked it, which is the most important part. Uh, but I feel like this one definitely has a lot of personality, that's why I like it, it's not dead. There's a lot of life in her eyes, especially how her eyes kind of squinny up like that. It's, it's nice, and I was really happy, like, when I look at a week's drawing overall in these videos, like the last week, and I see all of the drawings together, that's when I see improvement, not based on individual drawings because sometimes I'll just, you just get lucky and you bust out an awesome drawing you're like that's a really good drawing it's when the cumulative of your work kind of all shows improvement so I feel like I'm getting better and this one, last one was definitely a good example of that so but anyway so that's the video uh, again look for um, these videos every Wednesday at noon and the the creative challenge the creative art challenge video will be up Friday um, again, I'm doing that with Steven uh, from You Can Draw, but there's other YouTubers that are that submitted work to me, and so I'll be giving their channel a shout out to uh, Brother Baston, as a guy who does a lot of CG work that I've been watching his videos a lot lately. I would check I would check him out if I were you guys. His drawing will be in the video, so there's definitely a lot of um, a lot of good artwork in the video. So make sure you check that video out as well as my drawing. So because you guys haven't seen that one. Um, and uh, anyway, so that's the video. Hope you guys liked it. And if you did, subscribe, and I will see you on Friday.